Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because it's my fall favorites tag. I've been seeing this tag go around for a long time and I'm pretty sure that Jacqueline Hill kind of came up with the questions and I was tagged by my friend Vanessa from the Bombshell Suite to do this tag and I'm actually doing it in collab with one of my really good friends. Her name is Brianna Stanko. I will leave her channel and her video down below but we thought it would be fun to kind of collab on this video together. Um, I've always kind of like heard about her channel and I hadn't got the chance to check it out until a couple months ago and I've just been totally in love with it. She's so knowledgeable about skincare and she actually owns her own business like a website where you can buy medical grade skincare and I've been testing out a few things that I love so far so you guys really need to check her out she's beautiful she does like makeup tutorials she does hauls she does reviews skincare videos all kinds of stuff and I know you guys really like her so I'm gonna leave her stuff down in the info box but we are gonna do the fall favorites tag and I didn't actually know the questions but she just texted them to me okay so let's see, I've looked over them a little bit and they all look really like just fun things that I would wanna know the answer to. Um, I watched a couple of these videos, but not too many. So we're gonna start off. The first question is your favorite fall candle. All right, so I actually picked out three candles and yesterday at Bath and Body Works, they were having a sale and it was like buy one, get one free. So I bought a couple of candles, but there's one that I've been burning in my house for like a week and a half now that I really, really like. And it's called the Radiant Red Maple. So it looks like this. And when I went yesterday to buy the other candles, I looked for more of this one, but they didn't have it anymore. So if you guys can find this at your Bath and Body Works, I would get it. It smells, I love maple anything, but it smells a little bit like maple, but it also has a nice like fresh apple scent to it too. So it's not like an overwhelmingly sweet candle, but it's really pretty. I like it. Kind of has that like marshmallowy vanilla scent to it. It's really, really nice. And then um, I just have this kind of like on my kitchen counter and we've been burning it like all day. It smells really good. And then the other two, um, I just got these ones yesterday, but that one I feel like is kind of like a September, October, like beginning of fall. And these ones remind me more of like Thanksgiving, like November-ish. So if you guys are gonna go buy candles, these ones are really, really pretty. So the first one is Harvest Gathering. And this one is cinnamon, apple, and cranberry. This to me smells like cider. I think it smells really good. It's very like crisp, um, but it has that nice touch of cinnamon to it. So if you guys like kind of like that cider smell, you could really like this one. And then the last one is called Marshmallow Fireside. Um, it just has different kind of packaging. But when I went home to visit my parents last week, my mom had this one going. I'm pretty sure it was this one. And it smells so good. It's marshmallow, warm vanilla, and a little bit of like a woodsy scent to it. And I usually don't like um, like vanilla scents like this, but I've kind of been liking them lately. I'm not sure why. I used to be really huge into like the cologne kind of like woodsy masculine scents. And I'm not so much into that anymore. I kind of like ones like this. Um, I just changed my mind. So yeah, these two are really good for like Thanksgiving time. The next question is favorite fall lip color and this one was like an easy choice for me. Um, I recently purchased this and I mentioned it in my haul with Shelby. It's the Kat Von D uh, studded lipstick. Some, yeah, studded kiss lipstick and the color is in Lolita. I know this shade is like a cult favorite but it's just so pretty. I love it. I'm so glad I finally got my hands on it. They've had it in like the liquid lipstick for a long time. I'm not the biggest liquid lipstick person right now. For some reason, I'm just not loving it. I think because my lips are a little bit drier now that it's colder out. But this is so pretty. I'll do a little swatch so you guys can see. Um, it's just a nice, rosy, mauve shade, kind of like a plum, but it's not too dark. I can't do like the super dark purple and dark, dark plum, but this is just rosy enough where it's kind of like a dark, bold lip, but it's still pretty and fresh. I love this with kind of like a bronzy eye and bronzy cheeks. It's really pretty, so that's a good one. Next question is your favorite fall drink. So I love the caramel apple spice from Starbucks and we have one right near our house so we go there all the time. I love that. I think it's actually like a kid's drink but I've been getting it for years because I am not the hugest fan of like the pump, what are they called? The pumpkin spice lattes. Um, I've never actually gotten one but I've had like a sip of like my sister's if she gets one. I just don't really like it. Um, but that caramel apple spice is so good. It's just like hot apple juice with a bunch of different spices in it. It's really good. I love cider too. Um, and then if I'm having a drink at home, like coffee in the morning, what I've been having lately is this combo and it's so good. Even though I don't like 
the pumpkin spice lattes. I decided to try this and this is so good. So I always get like a little creamer in my coffee. I don't have it every day. Sometimes I have my coffee black, but if I want a treat, I like it like this. And it's the International Delight Pumpkin Pie Spice. And I get this at Target or Publix. They don't have it at Kroger. But it smell or it doesn't smell good, but it tastes really good. And it's best if you put it with this coffee, the Donut Shop Nutty Caramel. I talked about this, I think, on my Snapchat, but it's literally the best coffee. I love it. And these two together, it's so, so good. It's like a nice treat in the morning, and I love it. And it's not even that many calories. It's only 35 calories. And it's probably not the best like ingredients, but it's good to have every once in a while. But even this alone, the Nutty Caramel, just plain black is so good. I love it. So this is a good combo. All right, next question is favorite fall blush. I don't know if these are supposed to be fall in front of everything, but I'm assuming it is. So um, for this season right now, I'm loving this blush that I got from NARS. It's the Stephen Klein Collection. Um, I think it's he's like an artist and they came out with a holiday collection and they have some new things So this blush is so pretty. I'm wearing it today and I really like it I've been kind of wearing like a bronzy blush lately But I feel I felt like it needed to kind of get bumped up a little bit and this has been perfect So I've only worn it a couple times, but I really like it so far um, It's one of their new blushes where it's like you get the blush and the highlighter and it's almost the same shade as that Lolita lipstick, but as you can see on, it's not that like super intense. So I just put this on kind of like the top of my cheekbones, just a little bit. I usually just dab in there like twice and then I'll use the same brush and use the highlighter too. So I think it's really pretty and it's just kind of like a nice like ruddy red toned blush for the fall, which is what I like. Um, I kind of like to look like a little bit tan in the fall. I don't know why, I just think that's pretty. Um, and then like a darker berry red lipstick like the Lolita. So these two are a good combo. I should have worn this today, but I wanted to do kind of like a plum eye. So yeah, I love this Vengeful from NARS. The highlighter is really pretty too. Um, it's kind of like a gold champagne color. Next up is your favorite fall clothing item. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while or my Instagram and that kind of stuff, you would know that I am obsessed with wearing hats. I always have been. I love wearing hats. I wear them a couple times a week. And ones like this are like my favorite to wear. I always get them from just like Forever 21 or random stores. I don't spend too much money on them. This one I did pick up at Forever 21 back in the springtime, but I'll try to like link everything I can down below or similar options. So I love a good hat in the fall, but I also, this season in particular, have been loving over the knee boots. And I did mention this in my fall like clothing essentials video, but these ones that I got from Nordstrom, I love them. So they are Ivanka Trump. And I wore them a couple times when we were in New York and they're just very comfortable, but they're really, like a nice way to kind of dress up an outfit, especially if it's a little bit chillier outside. These like cover a lot of your legs so it's not too cold. They're easy to put on because they kind of have like this zipper right here so you can like pull your legging or your pant leg down. And they're not too outrageously expensive either. I know there's a couple of pairs that are like so expensive, like $800. And these I wanna say were like 160. They were less than 200, so pretty good deal. I like them a lot, um, and they have a nice, probably about a four inch heel, so it's not too high either. So I love these. I love this gray charcoal color too, because it goes with so many different pieces, but yes, love those. I can't wait to get to wear them more often. Um, when we were in New York, it was pretty cold, but here in Tennessee, it's still like really, really nice. So I don't think I'll be wearing those for a couple more weeks, but I love them. All right, the next question is your favorite fall movie. And I've kind of been thinking about this and I don't really, I don't really have a favorite fall movie. Like I don't like Halloween movies that much. I don't even know if there are that many Halloween movies, but not that I know of. Uh, yeah, I mean, I used to maybe when I was a kid, I liked to watch like the Disney Halloween movies, but I don't watch like that many scary things anymore. I just don't like to get scared, so I don't watch that kind of stuff really. Um, but like ask me that question again next month for like my favorite, Christmas movie and I would have a lot. I love Christmas movies, so I'm excited for that, but I don't really have a favorite fall movie. Um, but I was thinking about this and usually every fall is when the new Hunger Games movies movie comes out and I do love those. 
Um, and then before that was Twilight back when I was in high school and I loved going to that every year. So just whatever movies come out, I go to the movies a lot. Like Michael and I, it's one of our favorite things to do. So we go like twice a month, but yeah, just whatever's out, but nothing really like Halloween or fall related. You guys will have to let me know what your favorite fall movies are down below in the comments so I can check them out because like I said, I love watching movies, but I just couldn't think of any. So yeah. Um, but the next question was your favorite fall TV show. I do have a ton of favorite TV shows out right now. Um, I really love Nashville and that's so much drama. I love Hayden Panettiere. Um, and we actually saw her at the mall a couple weeks ago. So that was really fun. And and we've been watching Survivor and The Amazing Race. Those are always good. And then, um, yeah, but Nashville is pretty much like my favorite fall TV show. I get really excited for that. And it's so much drama and I love it. Okay, next question is your favorite Thanksgiving food. And I like all Thanksgiving food. I feel like the turkey is kind of like my least favorite because it's just kind of like, okay, turkey. Um, but I love like potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I love like cheesy potatoes, regular potatoes, and sweet potatoes. So I love potatoes, I guess. And I like pie. <laughs> I pretty much like it all. Um, but this year we're actually not going to be here for Thanksgiving. We're going on vacation with both of our families. So it'll be different because I've never like I've never had a Thanksgiving where it's not just like sit down and big dinner and like get ready for Black Friday. So it'll be kind of weird. I don't know what we're going to be eating, but I love Thanksgiving food. So I think I'm going to actually make like a Thanksgiving dinner here for Michael and I like the week before we leave because I don't want to miss out on that. It's so good. So, but definitely all kinds of potatoes are like my favorite, but I usually don't like potatoes that much for some reason on Thanksgiving. I just really like them. So yeah. That's what I'm excited for. All right, and the last question is your favorite Halloween costume. And this one, again, was hard for me because I don't dress up that often. Sporadically, I have, like, throughout the years, and of course I did when I was little, but I haven't really recently. That's because, you know, I, you guys know I used to live with my parents before Michael and I moved here. And um, in our neighborhood, we didn't have trick-or-treaters. There was nobody ever trick-or-treated, so it was like it was, Halloween was never really a big thing. Um, but when I was little, it was like a huge thing. I love dressing up. Um, I don't even remember what, I was always different things every year or whatever I was excited for, like Disney things and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, one year I was a flounder. So yeah, it was always different things like Disney characters and like Minnie Mouse. I was that a lot. We used to have to dress up, not dress up. We had to do like a little something um, at Alta. So I was always just Minnie because I could just wear like the ears and do a little nose. But I feel like Halloween costumes are more exciting for little kids. So maybe in a couple years when Michael and I have a baby, that will be fun to kind of dress them up. And um, yeah, I think that's really cute. I'm thinking about dressing up Colby as something too, but I don't know what. It's hard to find like dog costumes, but I think that'd be so cute. He'd hate it, but I would love it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had for, I I don't really dress up that often, so I don't really have a favorite Halloween costume. I do think it's cute though when they have like every little kid dressed up as like the Starbucks Frappuccino. I think that's hilarious. So yeah, those are all the questions. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know everybody loves fall inspiration and fall things, and I do too. It's so much fun because it's like getting ready for Christmas, and I love Christmas. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to check out Bree's video. I will leave the link down below. You guys will love her. She's so cute and so sweet and so knowledgeable. I know you'll love it. And I'm excited to see her video too, to see her pics because I buy a lot of things that she buys. You guys know, I'm sure, if you have a YouTuber where it's like every time they talk about something, you wanna go out and get it, that's how I am with her. Like I write it down, everything that she talks about, I wanna go get it. So I'm excited to kind of start my list with this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, leave a comment and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will talk to you soon, bye.